Welcome back to Python interview coding series. Today I will discuss question on array. This question probably asked in second interval of L2. The question is to find the longest common prefix amongst an array of a string. First we will understand the problem with the help of example. Consider a list consists of three strings. We will have to find a common prefix between the string. In the given example, fn is the longest common prefix among these elements. There are multiple ways to find out the solution of this problem. Like word to word matching, by using sorting method, by using binary search and many more other ways are there. Through that we can find out the longest common prefix. Here I will discuss two different implementation approach to solve this problem. So before I start, if you first time visit the channel, then do subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get the update on this interview topic. So let us start the discussion with the first approach. In the first approach, I am using sorting method to achieve the solution of this problem. First of all, I will take the function longest prefix and parameter to the function is S1. One by one, we will take the cases. In the first case, if my given string is empty, which won't have any kind of characters, then it will return null. After that, if length of the string is equal to 1, then I am going to return that character, that is S1 of 0. If the string consists of more than one character in a list, then first of all, we are going to sort the given list. By using sort method, we are going to sort a complete list. Once the list is get sorted, then we will iterate one by one all the strings. So I will take the prefix as an empty where I want to store the output. And I will assume that my first string is the longest prefix. So S1 of 0 is my longest prefix that is the starting point. After that I will iterate for i in the range. I am going to iterate till the length of longest string. Inside the loop, I will compare every string with the longest string. So I am going to write if s1 of length of s1 minus 1 of i is equal to equal to longest of i. If this condition is true, then we are going to obtain the prefix. So prefix is equal to prefix plus that character. So S1 of length of S1 minus 1 of i. So that character we are going to add into the prefix. This process is repeat again and again. But if that same character is not get matched, then we are going to break the loop and after completion of the loop we are going to return the value which is inside the prefix. Now I am going to call the function that is the longest prefix, longest prefix and the input of the function is string. So string I already declared which is flower, flight and fruit. So after execution of the code, it will return that longest prefix. So I save the code and I'll execute it. I'll get the longest common prefix by using sorting method. Hope you will understand this first approach. Now, if I don't want to use a sorting method, how I can achieve the solution of this problem without using sorting method? So let us start the second part. Still, if you enjoy the content, to like this video. <coughs> now we will start with the second approach without using sort method. So I am going to define the function longest prefix to input to the function is let's say s1. Again we will check if that s1 is equal to equal to null it will return null. If length of string 
is equal to equal to 1 then it will return the s1 of 0 that is the first character after that we will take some variable common which will hold the first string element because I don't want to sort and I also take the common length is equal to length of first element in the list after that I'm going to iterate for each and every character of that string so for s in s1 of starting from 1 till the last character inside the loop I'm going to write while common is not equal to s1 of colon character length or you can say common length inside the loop common is equal to common colon minus 1 common length has been preserved is equal to length of common and finally if that common length is equal to equal to 0 then it will return null after that it will return the common prefix I will call the function let's say print longest prefix to and to the function is str yes. after that I execute the code and then get the output is f5 so in this way we can find out the longest common prefix of a any string in the array with the help of these two different approaches in the first approach we use the sorting method in the second approach we use the customized method so still if I have any doubt you can write it in the comment section so I'll be more happy to give the solution of your questions thanks for watching this video